Hey guys, just Matt Luxton here. Um, just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who sent out messages of support to Mark and I at the weekend uh, for our Ironman in Mallorca. Um, for Mark, it's his first event, um, not his first ever triathlon, but his first, uh, his first Ironman uh, event. So it was awesome to take part in that with him, uh, share that experience with him. Uh, for myself, like kind of a big build-up really in terms of what we're what I'm looking to do this year. Um, and I, I'm not going mean, to, I may, you know, I'm going to go hard at it, but I may not achieve it, but I'm going to go for the world championship qualification uh, in my next event. So um, it was a really tough, tough event. Um, like I say, you guys are obviously interested in it because you kind of contributed. So I thought I'd just give you a little bit of an insight into what we, what we did. Um, so we arrived there on the Wednesday morning, just got our bikes out of the bike box. Um, and we went out for a little cycle just along the, along the route, uh, not along the route, just the other way in the opposite direction and the roads are awesome out there it's real, real really smooth um and as a cyclist kind of it's quite nice because you're not like dodging potholes and and uh and loads of gravel like you do in the uk um so then uh just sort of we had an apartment just kind of chilled out did some did some uh bit of a recce of the area got some food kind of like that built up i'm not going to go through too much more detail but we kind of registered and on the friday uh, racked our bikes so you get rid of your bikes you put them in transition um kind of like leave I guess it's for those of you who've got children it's kind of like leaving a child um so leaving your bike is kind of a bit is a bit scary um so then uh sort of Saturday Friday night comes just getting off just making sure we got our nutrition right getting all of our bits and pieces together ready to take down in the morning um because transition in the morning like you, you you have to be out there by quite quite early so I think it's like 8 15 we didn't start till five past nine all the pros are starting earlier than us so uh you get your bike tires pumped up down to the start line uh, it's really then that like I started to just get a, li like a little bit nervous, but not too bad. Just kind of more excited, just want to get the race underway. Um, having done a couple of open water starts, mass, mass starts, you know, you've got three, 300 people starting at once. Um, pretty, it's, it's chaos, <laughs> uh, but good fun. So yeah, right into the race. Um, just want to start swimming, just get yourself into a bit of a rhythm. For me, being not the most natural swimmer, uh, probably more, you know, prone to swimming depths and lengths. Um, Kind of took a wide berth around to the left and was a sort of a, a clockwise course. So staying out to the left just kind of helps keep me out of trouble. Um, I swam a bit further than I probably should have um, just because I went wider on the boys. But for me, it's just more about getting into a rhythm and just being able to uh, make sure I keep my breathing under control and my heart rate down. So I ended up finishing like 30, 31, 30, 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 and a half minutes, uh, which was about a minute and a half ahead of schedule. So I was really pleased with that. Transition was good. Uh, it's the longest transition in, in Europe. Uh, sorry, in, you know, in all Ironmans. It's just huge because there's so many competitors. It's the biggest uh, Ironman in the world. Three and a half thousand people. So um, you can imagine what it's like. It's like, you know, it's like bike porn there. Just so many nice bikes and you're just running past them all. Like. Um, anyway, onto the bike. Along the coast, beautiful scenery. Like, uh, if you get a chance to go to Mallorca, I guess it's, I guess a lot of people just think about Magaluf and going on stag do's and stuff. But and Hindus, but this place is beautiful. Northeast uh, out near Alcudia is amazing. So anyway, onto the bike, getting into a bit of a rhythm. Um, I knew I was going well because by about 10 miles, um, I was hoping to have my average speed at about 20 miles an hour. I was up to 22, 23, um, and I felt great. So yeah, I was in, I was in a good rhythm. Managed to get my first feed in about half hour onto the bike. Um, so making sure I'm not going to deplete. Because the thing is with that is like you can feel great one minute and then the next one you just boom. And it's mainly because you're just depleting carbohydrates. So just getting the timing right, that nutrition was key. Um, and then away up the hill, just nice and steady. But just like, I guess, because training around here, like there's just so many hills. You just, I felt so good, like going up the hill and, uh, and I managed to grind it out. So headed up the hill, got some up the mountain. And that's where I caught up with my friend Mark. Um, and uh, it was bizarre. We was like, I just literally said to him as I, as I was going alongside him, I said, this is just ridiculous, you know. All this training we've done since November, like six months of training, and here we are at the top of the mountain. You know, you just want to have a look around. It's just so nice. And he descended down. You could smell the rubber on the corners. Like everyone's braking so hard. And, you know, unfortunately, there's a couple of accidents where people kind of crash in uh, pretty bad. Um, ambulance and stuff. So um, hopefully they're okay. Got to the bottom. And then you just back into a slight descent all the way back to the, to the main, so 56 miles. So uh, just slight descent, slight downhill all the way. Um, yeah, feeling pretty good. To be honest. A couple of headwinds coming back made me feel a bit tired. Um, after about 46 miles, I was getting a bit, you know, I was starting to feel a little bit. Um, knew I was doing well. Like I was, but then when I got, I was sort of five miles out, realised that I was 
you know, I was pretty much on for being about 15 minutes quicker than I'd hoped to. So that was really good. So I ended up with a bike time of 2.43, so average speed of about 20.3 miles an hour, which was good. Um, I was hoping for anything over 18.6, so happy with that. Um, got to run, uh, and to be honest with you, the first four miles were absolute hell. Um, cramped up, just think lost a little bit too much salt. Uh, electrolytes kind of probably not quite the right balance, but, you know, it's, not the, it's only the first time I've really competed in, the, in that kind of condition. So really good to kind of get that one out of the way with and... Um, and, and learn from that, I guess. And so the bike got to 4.5 miles and felt really good. Um, I thought, right, I'm going to pick this up here. got to five miles and I thought someone was going to run me over um, again. So a really emotional roller coaster on the run. Like you kind of like you think you've got it under control and then you haven't. Um, so yeah, the run was good. Loads of support along the streets. Absolutely fantastic. Like people, all the, like, you know, not just the British people, but loads, all the British people who were there, like see your, see your name on the front. They see you see your nationality because they have the the, um, the Union Jack flag. Um, so, yeah, like giving you, giving you uh, words of encouragement, which is really nice. really keeps you going. Like, like you're doing three laps. You know you've got three laps to do, and every time you get back there, you just know that person's going to be there shouting for you again. So it's really nice. Um, very, very busy. Like, over, you know, over 3,500 people on the course. It's, that's a lot of people to be running around with. Get to about, got to the last lap. Again, felt good, so I thought I'd pick it up. I uh, picked it up, and I felt... Uh, Again, like, you know, you pick it up for, for a mile, went about 30 seconds quicker for that mile than the previous one, uh, and then back to where I was before. So I kind of realized then that I just needed to just finish it, just try and keep that pace. I think I averaged about 7 minutes 55 pace for my run, uh, which, to be honest with you, like, I could run a lot quicker, but in that heat, I was pretty happy with that. So overall, finished up finished up dead chuffed, like, uh, with, that, with that kind of performance. Um, you know, 5.04, I was aiming for 5.17. Um, so I was pleased with the result in the end, and you know, although the run time, uh, the run probably being theoretically my strongest event wasn't wasn't particularly doesn't look particularly good on paper. The heat really took it out of me, and obviously with the skin colour and uh, sort of, sorry skin uh, complexion and the hair colour, um, you can understand the uh, problems that causes in the heat. Um, and also, what I forgot to do was sun cream the back of my hands for the ride. So there you go, lesson learned. Uh, but, you know, all, all in all, great event. Like, you know, I want to say a massive thanks to everybody who helped us get ready for that. Um, you know, the big ones in five weeks' time. Stag do and getting married in between that. So uh, should keep me busy over the next few weeks. But, um, listen, just want to say a massive thanks to everyone involved. Uh, massive thanks to Mark. Um, awesome training partner. Really pushes me on. And um, hopefully he can keep me going for the next five weeks and uh, where I can uh, really go for it. But um, just, just for me, massive thank you to everyone involved. You know who you are. Um, and everybody who's sent uh, wishes of good luck, you know, it, it means a lot um, when you when you put everything into for something for six months, um, and uh, you know, you know, it really means a lot when you get there and everybody's wishing you wishing you the best. So yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye bye.